Welcome to another edition of The Naked Truth. My name is Ramon Roan. My name is John Singletary. And today's topic is the need for an independent civil rights organization. We know our civil rights organizations, especially the larger ones, uh, the NAACP, the Urban League, um, the SELC, that's just, uh, the ACLU. Um, the ACLU. Um, however, there is an importance of having a, a civil rights organization that is not attached to your larger companies or funding type of agencies that are basically member supported. And the reason why is that when you're member supported, you're member focused. Always. You're always member focused and you're mission focused. But when you are getting money from Nabisco or, or, uh, or um, Wells Fargo, whatever the case may be. Are you saying that the judgment gets cloudy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> or the water gets muddy? It sure uh -huh. does. And, and so you're, you're not mission focused because you're now dollar focused. And therefore, when you're not mission focused, people don't get help. Why that, in that the civil rights organizations that we had back in the 60s, uh, why do we still have the same issues? We still have the same issues, John. They have not changed. Racism has not changed. The amount of abortions that we are having in our communities, that has not changed. If Planned Parenthood is contributing to the NAACP, which I don't know if they are, then why would NAACP try to um, try to stop these abortions? We want to consider, we want to give people more fairness as far as um, our, our right to life. Well, one of the things that I see is that, like you said earlier, when you are supported by the members in the organization, then your loyalty is to the members. It's to the members. It's not to the funding coming in from outside entrants mm -hmm. who may have more than the members. Mm -hmm. If innovative approaches that are radical were continually used in order to stamp out racism, mm -hmm. uh, racism would not be the problem that it is in America today. It would be. Except that we don't have an organization that is fully member supported that is concentrating on that. The Judicial Freedom Riders new organization is one such organization that it is designed so that outside funding does not come in in order to cloud the judgment when it comes to dealing with racism and other issues. Mm -hmm. The Judicial Freedom Riders is designed such that if American businesses, which we are happy they believe in philanthropy, mm -hmm. But if they want to give, then let them give directly to the cause in which they want to support. Mm -hmm. Not do it through an organization that is designed to help the people so that they basically can, on the back end, determine what issues that organizations uh, get to address. You know, in short, they're buying the organization out at the expense of the public. The Judicial Freedom Riders has vowed to never take money from corporations and as a result they will always stay focused. It's only $36 a year. We're trying to get a million members within one year and as a result there are some things that will be addressed like never before with radical, innovative, uh, strictly legal and nonviolent means. That's what we need in this country. Right. And to not have that means that civil rights always gets put on the back burner. We always have uh, judges who profess to be civil rights advocates, but yet when you take a look at their orders, their orders show that they actually decide against civil rights. So just because civil rights is connected to their name, they could be connected in that they are trying to rescind your civil rights rather than to move it forward. So 
the correct the correct analysis has to be done and individuals just don't have time to do that that's why we have organizations like the judicial freedom rise and it, with numbers there's power in numbers and um, if we um, if we band together that thirty six dollars at three that's one million people that's that's thirty six million dollars that's that's a lot of money that can fund um, our mission that can fund our mission to exposing the corruption and then also cleaning up the corruption the last thing Mr. 80 percent of that goes to a direct right, to the mission and eight and and what happens is that when you're a member when your member supported um, is give me an example if an organization got thirty million dollars per year annually per year and um, 28 million came from corporations and only 2 million came from membership well who are they going to be looking to, to, to make happy? the corporations the corporation. and for us you can't bite the hand that feeds you can't bite the hand that feeds you especially with that large sum of money that's coming in so for us we want to focus on our membership and our members and our mission because you're not joining our organization because um, because it's nothing else to do. You join our organization because you agree with us that there is a problem in our justice system, which we're not talking about just our civil justice system, but we're talking also about our criminal justice system where we're not being treated fairly um, even in, in truth in, in, in our sentencing. Uh, we're not treated fairly with our due process. So becoming a member of this organization will also help not just in your particular situation, but situations are across the country. And for your children, for your grandchildren, in years to come. Years to come right. uh, there is no substitute for an organization that is continually focused for the betterment of its members. Right. Um, there's no way to say that an organization who accepts outside money is going to continually be focused on their mission. It's going to continually make sure that the integrity is there to uphold the mission in the best interest of the group, the membership. The Judicial Freedom Riders at www.jfrinc.org is an organization that is committed to doing that. And so we ask that you join jfrinc.org and um, it's been a pleasure talking with you on this broadcast. Until next time, stay safe and keep your head up.